for both the bear magic and the raccoon magic, you're going to use your template and machine sew along the um, sewing lines of a piece of felt in the color of your choice. I used wool felt and it's going through two layers of wool felt fabric and then you're also sewing around the sewing line of the ears for the hat. So you'll be doing the same thing for both of them. They start out. What makes um, the bear magic hat and the raccoon magic hat different is the hand sewing embellishments. So I'm just, you know, making sure that I don't have any extra threads that can get tangled up in the machine as I'm going along. And I just use a very small stitch when I'm doing my clothing and um, doll body part sewing on the machine. Again, just clipping off the excess threads. And when I cut it, um, cutting along the cutting lines of each um, pattern template piece. And then when I get to the seam, I'm giving it a small seam allowance. Now, if you noticed, I left the beginning threads on, and that's so that I can tie them and prevent that seam from unraveling. And just trimming that off. And then the same thing, you know, cutting the ears on the cutting line and then leaving a little bit of seam allowance around the seams that I had sewn around the ears. And there you have the start of the hat. For both the bear magic and the raccoon magic hat, you're going to pin the trim to the inside of the hat. For Reco Magic, I used an off-white color for the trim, and for Bear Magic, I used a um, rust color for the trim. And all of the felt that I'm using is wool felt, and I've purchased them from Weircraft online. And you want to adjust it so that there's no um, um, gathers on it. You want it as smooth as possible. And then what I did is I used my um, number 7 English Darner. And I threaded it with Nymo thread size D, um, conditioned with the beeswax, in um, a color that matches the trim. And then, as you see, I'm just doing a whip stitch all the way around the edge of the trim to hold the two pieces together. And the smaller the stitches, the neater it will look. And if you um, try to give it, get it as even as possible, it also helps the neatness of how it looks. And once I get to the end, I made a tacking stitch and to hold the thread in place. And then I just flip it over, and you'll see the stitches. And when I'm folding over the trim to the front side of the hat, I'm going to try to cover those stitches. 
so that they don't show. And I'll just pin it in place before I whip stitch it onto the front side of the hat. And then again, I'm just using my number 7 English Darner with the Nymo thread size D. And I make a tacking stitch just to keep everything in place. And then just whip stitch all along the outer edge of the trim. And I do the same process for both the raccoon magic and the bear magic hat. Again, the only difference is the color of the hat and the trim. I'm just whip stitching all around, trying to use small stitches, and I'm trying to get both layers of the fabric in, the, the hat felt and the trim felt in each stitch. And then when I'm done, I'll just do bring the needle into the underside of the hat and do the tacking stitch there. And then just weave it in and out of the trim. And there you have it. The hat with the, the trim on for Raccoon Magic. And like I said, the same process is used for bear magic. Now for raccoon magic, there's a couple of extra steps for the hat. And one of them is um, cutting out the little white felt insides of the ear and just whip stitching them onto the the ear for the raccoon magic. Now I didn't pin it on um, because it was so tiny that I felt it would pretty much just kind of get in the way of the pin so I just held the center ear in place as I whip stitched it on. And you can use another color for the center of the ear but I just used like an off-white and then I just, you know, when I'm finished, do a tacking stitch. And I did the same thing for the second ear. And the second extra step for the Raccoon Magic is um, sewing on the center black stripe to the hat. And some people like to glue felt on um, when they're doing things like this but I just don't like the look of the glue um, putting things together so I prefer to hand stitch it on and I think it gives it kind of a nicer quality and I enjoy doing the hand sewing so um, I just you know think it's pay more attention to the process than the outcome so I just take my time with it and I feel like it's it comes out nicer and neater than gluing it together and it's more permanent um, so as you're seeing I'm just doing a whip stitch 
all the way around the black stripe to hold it in place on the hat. And again, I'm trying to take small stitches um, as even as I can, and that'll make it look neater. And I used uh, black Nymo thread size D um, to match the stripe. And I'm just using my English Darner number seven. And when I get to the end, I'll just make a few tacking stitches to hold everything in place. So now we're ready to attach the ears and how I attach the ears is the same way for both Bear Magic and Raccoon Magic. So I just pinned the ears in place and I had the hat on the doll's head while I did that for both of the dolls. And the reason being you're going to be better able to see um, the accurate or the correct placement of the ears on the hat when you do it this way. And then instead of, I'm using a ladder stitch for um, attaching the ears on. Now I started out with a tacking stitch just to make sure the thread is secure. And I'm going to do a ladder stitch but I didn't pin the ears under. Um, because again it's so tiny so what I'm doing is while I'm doing the ladder stitch to secure the ears to the hat um, I'm pushing under the edges of the ears as I go along with my needle and with my finger And here I'm doing one of my bad habits. My thread is probably too long for what I'm doing. So you'll see it a little bit tangly, but that's one of my bad habits. So it's easier to have a shorter thread and change it more often. But I guess the motto is don't do as I do, but do as I say. But again, I'm just doing the ladder stitch all the way around to hold everything in place. And just tucking things in with my needle. And when I pinned it to the head, I was just pinning it for the placement. So I'm just tucking things in while I go around. and then pulling the ladder stitch tight. And again I'm using um, my number 7 darner and I'm also using Nymo thread size D in a matching color to the hat. Once I go all the way around, I'm going to bring the needle into the center of the ear so you're not going to see it on the outside and do a couple of tacking stitches. And then just weave the thread through to secure before I cut it off. And I did the same thing for the second ear. So I just ladder stitched it on in place. And 
And like I said, I did the same, use the same process for Bear Magic set. Now for the um, ties at the end, I took three pieces of embroidery floss that was 11 inches long each piece for each side. So I cut a total of six. And I used a needle that had a large eye and had a sharp point to bring it through the end. And I did that for both sides. And as you noticed, it did, it was a little bit of a struggle pulling it through. So I did have to use my um, clamps to pull it, my surgical clamps, which is not a good thing for the needle, which is probably why it looks so bent up, but it worked. So once I pull the strands evenly on each side, I make a knot to hold it in place. And then to give that nice look to the ties, I took the two center strands from each side of the embroidery floss to put them together and then I braided the embroidery floss. And being so tiny, it is a bit of a challenge. And I'm just trying to keep it smooth as I'm going along. And when I get to the end, I'll just make a knot at the end with all of the strands going through the knot. And then I re repeated the same process on the other side of the hat. And again, I did this for both the Raccoon Magic and the Bear Magic hats. And after I make the knot in each side, um, I trimmed the um, fringes to make them even. So this is where I just cut the edges off to even them. And there you have Bear Magic's hat. and raccoon magic. So I used different colors for the, the um, ties just to match the hats better. <laughs>